Hello Jeremy, um, I'm just uh, wondering how you got on with your drawings, the Henry Moore influence drawings. Um, I thought we'd take it a step further, have a bit of fun with trying to make some little 3D figures and then using them as a subject to draw from. So um, going with the Henry Moore idea of the kind of lines around the form of the figure, I've made these funny little very basic figures out of newspaper with uh, wool round, bound around them. Um, obviously you could use string or you could use um, wire even if you've got any sort of soft flexible wire. Um, and once they're made you can sort of manipulate them a little bit so you can bend joints and move their arms a little bit into sort of different positions and obviously seat them on your on something so they look like they're on a bench or you know think about how they relate to one another um in different sort of poses I don't want to sit up now but you can have a bit of fun with that um and the bound string gives you a nice sort of visual thing to really get into in your drawing in terms of that kind of following of form um, so the construction is, is literally just scrumpling up paper um, into vaguely, I started off with a sort of vague head and torso shape and then loop my string and obviously go tighter where I want it to come in more. Just do lots and lots of binding to hold it into the shape you want. Um, and I just sort of finished off the ends either either by wrapping more string on top or just tucking the ends in. And then um, obviously I added a, another separate bit for the arms and just bound that on and then the legs. And so you can quite quickly build up this sort of simple figureish form. Um, and then with the drawing, again, if you mix up your media, so um, the ones I did, I've used, um, I hope they're clear, I've used here the sort of wax or um, oil pastel crayon with an ink wash um, and tried to sort of emphasise, like I say, this form. Um, this one I tried, uh, I sort of put on the shading of the graphite and then worked into it with a rubber to sort of take away the lines um that was quite fun to do and then sort of drew more lines into it and um i think that this one i prefer i did with one of your lovely um dip pens that you made with bamboo um and ink and again it's the sort of thing that actually the more you draw the more fluent your drawings become and the better so it's worth doing quite a few and turn you know I find it quite nice when you turn at different angles and things you get a different kind of sense of how the figures relate to each other they're not sitting up so well now but I think they've been bashed around a lot um yeah so it's just a bit of fun but I think um it could be quite a nice challenge as well so I hope you get to enjoy doing that and look forward to seeing the results